first alert weather. Pretty pleasant day outside for not only today, but for much of the entire weekend. I wish I could say about the weather coming this week, but we have change in store right now in Pocatello 43 degrees and calm conditions with those winds and sunny skies. What else can you ask for, especially in February in Idaho right now? Live look at the Viper radar shows since we have lack of cloud cover. We also have a lack of snow in the region, but eventually that is going to change. We've got this high pressure just south of us right now. It's keeping us and protecting us from much of the cloud cover around, but do have a massive cold front that's gathering a lot of cloud cover and a lot of moisture that's looking to travel farther out east and it's going to kick out that high pressure system as well so that we get those snow showers coming forth in the next couple of hours. Let's take a look at that in the Vipercast right now. It's going to be clear at least throughout the, most, the rest of the night tonight, which will be nice and pleasant. And in fact, for the day tomorrow, we're also looking at a pretty good day for most of the day on Valentine's Day to be able to enjoy. It's not going to be until 6 o'clock around dinner time where we're starting to worry or starting to introduce these snow showers into the region starting in central Idaho from Stanley up to salmon as well. But this is just the beginning is again. This continues into the rest of the region, but look at the pro look at where it is in Snake River Plain. It's not going to reach here until about 1 a.m. Hopefully when you're asleep at night uh, in the middle of the night, which will be at least good that it happens then. Uh, rather than the morning commute, the evening commute that is. So we have snow in the Snicker Plain. We're ranging from Idaho Falls down to Pocatello, including Burley, some including around central, sticking around in central Idaho as well on the tail end of this. And in fact, we could get some snow showers again on the tail end of this, heading into the early morning hours as well. Continue this 5 a.m. Massive snow showers around central, uh, excuse me, Western Wyoming and into southeastern Idaho, as well as some sticking around the Snicker River Plain into Idaho Falls and Blackfoot. Throughout the rest of the day on Tuesday, we still have the snow there, but the amount of showers and the amount of range to which the snow is hitting our region is going to slowly decrease and disappear throughout the day to where by midnight the next night we'll be clearing out things. Winds for the next day or so, which will be pretty light, 5 to 10 miles an hour as they've been for a good amount of time, but if you notice right along this front, we're looking at some really impressive wind gusts up to 25 to even 30 miles an hour right along, especially in the valleys. And overall on Tuesday, though, it's going to be a pretty windy day, 15 to 20 miles an hour continuing after the front comes along with some very cold gusts bringing much colder air back into the picture. Right now, snowfall looking at an inch to two inches for the Snake River Plain, especially the lower Snake River Plain in the Magic Valley, but some areas in the mountains could get up to two to four inches around Idaho Falls, possibly, maybe even including the Tetons, and some mountains around Sun Valley, and including around central Idaho and Stanley and Salmon. But enjoy tomorrow. We got the sunshine still out. That cold front not going to take effect until Tuesday. So one more day to enjoy slightly warmer temperatures in the forecast. 40 in Milan City, 39 in Lava Hot Springs, 40 in Swan Valley, and 33 tomorrow in West Yellowstone. 33 in Mackey, 41 tomorrow in Ketchum, and 42 over in Salmon. 44 tomorrow in Pocatello. We're up to 46 in Burley and 34 as our high in Rigby. Eight day forecast, 38 is our high tomorrow in Blackfoot, but we're down to 28 by Wednesday once that cold front takes foothold. Uh, we got the snow coming in Monday overnight into Tuesday morning with windy conditions on Tuesday. About the same picture for Rexburg as well. We could have some trailing snow showers continuing into Wednesday. A high of 33 tomorrow, leading to a high of 26 though on Thursday. In Jackson, 31 is our high. We're down to a high of 23 on Wednesday with possible slight <laughs> snow showers basically continuing throughout the entirety of the week. In Salmon, 60% chance of rain and snow. The high of 42 tomorrow, but we get down to high of 32 on Wednesday with a slight isolated snow shower on that day. In Pocatello, 44, we're down to 33. On Wednesday, slight isolated snow shower on Wednesday, but the main snow is coming through Monday overnight into Tuesday morning highs of 35 and 33 the next two days. Friday falls down to the upper 20s by the middle of the week and then possibly looking at another snow system coming in on Sunday and overall for the rest of February. The outlook is looking pretty wet in regards to getting a lot more snow into the picture. Send back things over to Linda. All right.